anyways, your questions were really good, and I want to start with uh, pins. What kind of pins do I use? The extra fine glass head pins. There are a bunch of different brands out there. I do love the clover ones, but there are other ones. Just know that if you're spending $2 on the box of pins, they, they aren't the right ones. So remember, look for extra fine glass head pins. And in the case of clover, they have extra long pins and then regular pins. I think I like the regular ones better than the extra long ones, but that's just personal preference. Somebody else asked about spoon quilting, and we're not talking about the spoon basting, which I showed you, you know, way back. It's that Michael James likes to use a spoon to quilt, and he takes one stitch at a time. Look, if it works for Michael James, that's great. Who am I to say what he needs to do? But I think it would take a whole lot longer to do a quilt. So I have not used it, and I haven't used anything on my underneath finger either. I want to be able to feel the needle. Again, that's where the new skin comes in handy. And then um, when I'm finishing off a thread and I come through the top and I knot it and then I clip it, you're right, it's so that it keeps the wrap of the thread going in the correct direction. So yes, that, I'm, I can't believe I didn't say it, but that's what it's for. Again, if the wrap goes in the wrong direction, your thread will knot and break more easily. And of course, make sure that your thread isn't really long, like 18 inches, that's it, which leads me to another question of, is it double or single? It's single. I do not quilt with double thread. Single. Good question. It means you're paying attention, and I like that. Um, okay, I mentioned that I can do an 80 by 80 quilt in six weeks. Number one, I want to reiterate, I'm on a frame. When you're working on a hoop, it does slow things down. So I'm on a frame, and how many hours a day I quilt, it depends on the day, but I can go about six hours. However, I want to say that within those six hours, I take breaks, of course, or you're just going to tear your body apart. And I also use my dad's frame, which he no longer makes, but you can adjust it you know, at different levels. So ultimately, I'm positioning myself differently, but also I work on a swivel office chair with no arms and then I can take the move, the height of the chair and change it. So just, just even, you know, that much of a change puts your body in a different position. Also, the fact I quilt with my thumb makes a big difference. So do I quilt every single day for six hours? No. I might go two days and then take a day off or whatever. But because I am working on a frame, because I do take breaks, and because I work in different directions, I do believe that's how I can really quilt quite quickly. Coming up next, you asked about PVC frames. 